former CEO of uh, Air New Zealand and I'm currently in the midst of a uh, 12 month sabbatical and enjoying it. Uh, it actually means standing out from the crowd. Uh, you know for me, for New Zealand I think that's a challenge for companies in uh, New Zealand. I think uh, that's a challenge. It's actually having the courage to adapt at a faster pace than other organisations. It's having the courage to take risk. It's having the courage to trust people and allowing people to contribute to your organisation so that you can le leverage the entire power of that, uh, that organisation. And certainly in New Zealand's case, that's what it meant to, uh, to thrive in our marketplace. You know, what we put in the centre of our business model was people. When I arrived at Air New Zealand, our business was about planes. Uh, but actually our business is really about people. It's the people that touch and interact with our customers every day. They're the ones that have the opportunity to really create value for our organisation. So that's what we set out to do, is give them the power, make them the heroes. So that's the flight attendants, the people on the customer service desk, the check-in agents, the baggage handlers, the people that really make a difference for your flight experience. That's what we set out uh, to kind of leverage and power up uh, in, our, in our business model. And you have to have people coming to work, 11,000 people in our case, that genuinely want to make a difference every day. And if you can do that, you can undoubtedly outperform your competitors in the marketplace. We looked at our business, and in the airline business, scale is everything. The big airlines can leverage their scale. We make very fine margins, so if you can get a little bit more margin, you do very well. We didn't have scale, you know, we're a small airline. Uh, so our challenge was to say, how can we compensate for that? And we compensated for that by being more innovative and being able to adapt more quickly and leverage value uh, from that. And I think that's the story of New Zealand. We're never going to be a scale economy on the world stage, but we can, because of our size, we can make that a strength by being able to adapt more quickly. And as I say, to, to innovate, to take risks, to be prepared to stand out from the crowd and be a little bit different. Again, it's all about adaptation, you know, so in our world, if I look at social media, you know, the 45th largest company in the world, we've got the fourth largest uh, number of followers on Facebook, um, likewise on Twitter and so on, so we've looked and said we've got to embrace the new cultures that, uh, that are emerging and, and want to interact with us. That doesn't mean inside our organisation that everyone naturally is, uh, um, embraces that. We, we have a and many, many tribes within Air New Zealand, from engineers to pilots to flight attendants, very different cultures. And that's true of our customer base. So you have to actually make sure you can meet the diverse needs of your customers, but you certainly have to acknowledge the trends and the impact that the new millennials are having on the way we think about our business and the way we interact with our customers. I'm, I'm incredibly optimistic and I want to be a part of that future. And I've had sorts of job offers to head offshore, but I want to be here because I think we do have enormous opportunity. But we need, from politicians to business people to people in the community, we need to embrace a sense of opportunity around our future because a few people can't do it. Just like we have in Air New Zealand, we need four million people that actually see that potential and want to wake up each day with a, with a goal and an inspiration to make a difference.